Shanna, can you put this up? There we go. What happened here? Uh -uh. Okay, put it up, please. Uh, hold, hold it, Mia. Whoa. Okay, are we on? Looks like we are on. Good morning, everybody. This is Jake. And please welcome my co-host, Ava. There, Ava, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hey, Eva, say hi. She can see herself. Hey, Eva. Okay, I'll pass you on to mommy, okay? There we go. Well, good morning. It's 7 o'clock in the morning of Monday. It's March 3rd. And today, we are going to resume what we had uh, been doing for uh, about a year already, two years ago. March 4. To, oh, today is March 4? Sorry. March 4. Okay. I was corrected here. I stand corrected. Okay. We are going to resume doing our commentaries of the gospel. We, uh, we, we had this custom of doing these commentaries of the gospel about two years ago. And, uh, well, we uh, had to postpone it or, uh, or um, uh, stop doing it due to certain issues that we had encountered for the last year. And it's actually been about a year since we haven't had this. So we're going to start it back up. And this week is uh, the week of Lent. We are starting Lent on Wednesday. And so I thought it was an appropriate, very appropriate time to um, resume doing this gospel commentaries in the morning. We are actually at breakfast. We are wrapping up breakfast. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, here in the Kleachko household in Modesto, California. And this is what we, this is how we start our day. We start our day by um, uh, doing a gospel commentary after breakfast. So here goes. Today we have the gospel from St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 17 to 27. You're going to hear the full gospel, of course, at Mass today. But uh, let me just give you a summary. Today's gospel is about the rich a uh, young man, okay, who went to Jesus and asked him, well, you know, Jesus, how am I going to be uh, saved? Okay, and Jesus says, well, you know, you have the commandments, go follow the commandments, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not bear false witness, etc., etc., okay, and then the, the young man said, well, I already follow all of that, I already do all of that, then Jesus looked at him, lovingly and told him there's one thing you lack and what is that go sell everything that you have okay go sell everything that you have and give it to the poor and then his face sunk He didn't want to sell what he had. He didn't want to be detached from his possessions. Because his life was all about I, me, myself. Everything that I have is mine. And I want to keep them. Because I don't want to be detached from them. Right? So, our Lord is warning us here about the dangers of attachment. Our Lord is not saying to us that to be rich is bad. No. Riches, richness uh, is good. Riches are good. Material possessions are good because God allows us to have them in order to use them as means towards achieving an end. Okay? So we have to look at material goods in their proper context. God allows us to have them as a means to achieve an end. Now, what is the ultimate end of our lives? Huh, Sophia? God. The ultimate end of our lives is to be with God in heaven forever. To be happy with God in heaven forever. Right? So, but while we are on earth, God allows us to have material possessions because we are not angels. We need food, we need clothing, we need shelter, we need our gadgets to communicate with other people, we need uh, furniture to uh, live comfortably at home, we need some entertainment, we need all of that stuff, 
right? Not because we really need, need, need them, but because it will facilitate our journey in life to reach God as our ultimate end. But all of these material possessions can also tempt us. What will they tempt us towards? They will tempt us, they can tempt us to be attached to them and to forget that they are only instruments, they're only tools for us to be able to reach God in heaven. And if we do that, if we get stuck with that, detach, with that attachment to material goods, then it will be harder to reach God. You know why? Because it will be easier to commit sin. These material possessions and attachment to material, material possessions, okay, um, are like a, a precursor of our attachment to sin. So if we are attached to material things, it can be an indication of attachment to sin. And if we are attached to sin, then we are detached from God. And if we are detached from God, we can go to heaven. We cannot be saints. You see? So that's how that works. So our Lord in this gospel is reminding us not to be attached to material things. It's okay to have material things. It's okay to have possessions. Just don't get attached to them. Eh? Don't get attached to them. Always bear in mind that these things we have are only tools to achieve the ultimate end, the greater end, the bigger, better end, which is God himself. Okay? So how do we practice detachment? Well, it is... It's something that you, you really have to put an effort in. You have to put an effort to be detached, meaning to stay away, to really physically sometimes deprive yourselves from these material things. For example, nowadays everybody has a phone. Lucky for you, you don't have phones. <laughs> you don't own phones, but you have computers, right? So how can you be detached from these things? Well, to use those computers, those gadgets, for the purpose why they are there, okay? And not to just use it, oh, because it's right there and I'm going to indulge, I'm going to watch all the movies, all the videos on YouTube and everything else that I want to engage in. Let me tell you, these gadgets are now the modern instruments of the devil to tempt you to sin. So the more you can be detached from it, the better for you. And how? what does that take? Simple, put it down, <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe even don't carry it around all the time with you. Put it in a certain place where it stays there so that you only use it when you need it. Right? This habit of always bringing around you the phone, the computer, the, the, the laptop, the iPad is and can be an indication of undue and unnecessary attachment. When you cannot even shut it down, shut it off. When you can't even turn off that Facebook. When you can't even turn off Twitter. You can't even get out of Instagram. You need to be on it. That's a good indication of attachment. Attachment, attachment, attachment. And it's not good. What else? Detachment from clothes. Some people like clothes, fancy clothes, and they want to be dressing up uh, 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 in, in their fancy clothes all the time. Well, you can be detached from that too. Sometimes, some days, you can choose clothes that maybe are not to your liking. Uh-oh, God bless you. Okay. Oh, God bless you. And then, uh, what else? Uh, shoes, you know, your, your own, uh, your own um, uh, grooming style, you know, uh, vanities, food. Okay? Eat more of what you don't like and less of what you like. That's detachment. That's mortification. All, oh, by the way, mort detachment can also be a mortification. Right? Depriving yourself of all of these attachments can be a good sacrifice, can be a good mortification that you can offer up, especially this time of Lent. Right? So, uh, somewhere down the gospel, uh, when, when our Lord was talking to his disciples, the disciples asked him, so who can be saved? I mean, if, you know, if, if um, all of these uh, material possessions are going to be an obstacle for us to go to heaven, who can be saved? What did our Lord say? For men, it is impossible, but nothing is impossible for God. So how can we be detached from material things? Let's pray about it. Let's ask 
God to help us be detached from material things and to be attached only to Him. You know who can be your ally in practicing detachment? Who can guess? Who can be your best friend in, in fighting against attachments? Your guardian angel, Mia. Very good. See, and Chevelle too answered the right, uh, gave the right answer. Your guardian angels can be a very good ally to help you be detached. So the moment you start picking up that phone or the moment you see a blurb or a pop-up in your computer and you feel like wanting to go there, you ask your guardian angel, help me be detached. Help me be detached. Help me be detached. Give your guardian angels a name and ask him, help me be detached from material things. And this time of Lent, this time of Lent, we're going to usher Lent on Wednesday. It's going to be Ash Wednesday. It's going to be a very good time to be detached. Okay? Detach, detach. Lent is a good opportunity to practice detachment to, to a good degree. Okay? So let us perhaps remind ourselves, what can I be detached from? What kinds of attachments can I get rid of? Okay? So that I will only give my full trust and confidence in God and really be attached to God. Okay? That's it for us folks this morning. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>